Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another fantastic, hopefully fantastic, episode of Preserved Bus Adventures. Today we are uh, just coming into Great Harwood where the uh, Town and District Preservation Trust's headquarters are. Sounds posh, doesn't it? I promise you it's not as posh as it sounds. Uh, and today we're going to be going to the Skipton Bus Rally. It's Sunday the 9th of September, October, <laughs> October. 2022 and uh, we're going to be taking the late John Wright's N9 Dart, uh, Dennis Dart, from D15 uh, through to Skipton Running Day. So hopefully it's going to be a great day. So we're just on the way to get some fuel, uh, because obviously the, the thing about buses is with no fuel in, they don't, they don't tend to work. So uh, yeah, we're just off to get some fuel for it before heading off over to Skipton. Now, uh, this bus was owned by uh, a very good friend of mine, the late John Wright, as I mentioned earlier, uh, who sadly passed away in 2020. Uh, so it is really quite an honor to be sat here in, uh, in his bus, taking it to the Skipton Rally, which of course is where this bus uh, did a lot of its time stomping around uh, North Yorkshire with Pennine Motor Services. So yeah, it really, really is like, I'm, I'm a little bit emotional because obviously it, it was owned by a very good friend of mine and uh, who's sadly no longer with us. He never got to see me driving a bus in real life, so uh, yeah, it's, but it's going to be a great day. I've got a, a good feeling that today is going to be an absolutely fantastic day. Oh, it's starting to warm up. It's quite nice when the heaters get going. It's the first time I've ever driven a Dennis Dart, and uh, there is a distinct difference between that and an Eclipse. For starters, the brakes are very, very different. Um, the Eclipse obviously has a retarder, uh, whereas this doesn't. And uh, obviously, because this is a step entrance Dennis Dart, or step entry even, it's, uh, it's a lot higher off the ground, a little bit narrower, so it, it kind of it wobbles round a lot more than the Eclipse. The Eclipse feels very rooted, whereas th this doesn't. <laughs> it's like trying to drive a bouncy castle. Way there we go, around the corner. Oh dear. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I'll get used to that. It's like the first time I drove a double-decker, that wobbled round everywhere and all. That was like driving a bouncy castle. You don't get that kind of... the physics on Omsi, do you, that, that you do in real life? Oh, yeah, that, that kind of motion of, of swaying about and... Yeah, it, it, it is missing in Omsi. I wonder how warm the eclipse is in winter. I can't imagine it's very warm. I hope it has eaters like this dark. <laughs> Panicking a little bit. Give <laughs> me the RD. Oh dear. It's a little bit bigger than anything I've ever driven before. Are you getting some of the outside while we're parked up here? There you go, love. Heck, we're going. I didn't know we were just setting off. The dart was needed elsewhere. Something to do with the fact that this Olympian can't be switched off if it'll blow up or something like that, I don't know. Um, <laughs> that's the one. So the dart needs to go back to the, the place because somebody's not coming who was. Basically, there's a lot of complications that have ended up. The dart needed to go, it'll be coming back later. 
but now I have to drive this Olympian, which I'm a little bit, a little bit worried about because I've never driven a double decker before. It says we're doing 60 miles an hour. I don't think we are. Oh no, hang on, this is, this is different to the other bit. The other. I know where we are now. This is this roundabout where you go up to Grassington, isn't it? Jesus Christ, how many times did you go with that dart to Grassington? A lot of times we went on that dart to Grassington. Need to take the eclipse there for prosperity purposes. Good morning! Right, Follow that one. I can do that. We've been doing it, we've been doing it since we left. We've been doing it for a few miles, haven't we? Oh, just barfing, sir. Am I just parking up next to him? Or is he reversing? Or what's he doing? I think he just parks it like that and they all go in the line. See if you can get it in line with that 8 feet so. KMV. I mean, like the whole way here, we've been kind of like that, kind of just wobbling around all over the place. Whereas the Eclipse is a lot more planted, yeah. and the B10, you know, they don't tend to wobble around as much. Yeah, John's dart was wobbling all over the place. We're driving it like. Oh. <laughs> So we're here at the, uh, we've arrived at the Skipton running day today. There's lots of old things about, things that are a little bit before my time, I think. Although we've got this lovely Scania Connections bus on the, uh, the left-hand side here, formerly Trent Barton, I believe, which is why if you look closely, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's got the, the yellow spinny fans on the top there, branded for, I think, the sixes. Um, but yeah, so uh, that's, that's, more, that's more my speed. Uh, out of everything else, we've got a couple of Olympians uh, we've got, uh, obviously, John Wright's Dennis Dart that I didn't drive over. Uh, I think, from my era, that's pretty much it. There's a lot of old half-cab sort of things. They all look very nice. I couldn't tell you the first thing about them, but, uh, yeah, they're all, they're all very, very pretty. So, actually, so far, it's a really, really good line-up today, and uh, I'm, I'm really impressed.
Right, so we're on our way to the bus station now at Skipton. Whoops, getting taken out by some shrubbery. Uh, we're on our way to the bus station because I'm driving the 11.35 trip. I don't know where we're going. Um, nope. Yeah, I don't know where we're going, but uh, I'm going to be directed by uh, a member of a member of the uh, the running day that knows where they're going, because I sure as hell don't. Um, ooh! Now that's that's more my speed. Nice Gemini, lovely, lovely. God, it's busy in Skipton today. Um, yeah, so we're going to be driving the D15 Dennis Dart. We're actually driving it this time. We're not having it stolen from us and been provided with a scary double decker. Um, yeah, little Dennis Dart. I'm sure we'll be able to handle that. That's well within our capabilities. And um, yeah, so we're walking over to the bus station because, like I say, nobody thought to tell me that that was where it was starting. So we were stood over at the uh, at the car park there, where all the buses are parked up and uh, <laughs> waiting for it, thinking they got lost. That Gemini is actually longer than the Dart. I was thinking, oh, I, I, if I ever need to drive a Gemini, I'll be, uh, I'll be absolutely, you know, perfectly capable because it's probably about the length of the Dart. But actually, it's. Uh, I was just looking at that thing over there, that the uh, Transdev Whiz. It's absolutely enormous. Oh, it looks better when there's an Eclipse part here, though, doesn't it? So this is, of course, where we parked my bus when we brought it for the first time. Oh, for goodness sake, they're going all the way around there now. We may as well keep going. We're already on the way. Where are we going? Left off. Left. Also, we're going past Busy Lizzie's. That looks like driving a lump of lead. I do actually, yeah. Oh, I'm still indicating. Excuse me. You are? Oh, it's not annoying, it's on fire. I'm a lot higher up than in Olympian, aren't I? I nearly sat on the floor. Can I have some direction, please? No? Oh, I've still got microphone on. Be able to hear everything we've said. Right, well, that's the first trip out of the way. We've been uh, to a place called Carlton from Skipton, which was a really, really nice run. Quite small roads, but uh, but we did a little bit of reversing as well. Wasn't expecting that, because you get to the top and you have to kind of reverse around in a triangle thing. So, uh, what's the time now? About 10 past one. We've been out on the 12.35. No, hang on, we haven't. I'm lying to you. It's 10 past 12 now. I'm still an hour ahead. I'm still in Spain. Um, yeah, I've completely lost my train of thought now. We've done the 11.35 to Carlton and back from Skipton. And uh, so it's 10 past 12 now. So we're just waiting here. There's a couple of buses uh, here. I don't know if you want to... There we go. Oh, we're on the move. A couple of buses over there that are all going out in service uh, to various places. And uh, we're waiting here now until the 12.35 where we're going to do another trip to Carlton. So, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm hoping, now that I'm experienced in the Carlton reversing procedure, didn't enjoy it, but, uh, but yeah, now that I'm experienced in the reversing, it's going to be another great trip.
rather than like, booing him and throwing things. Being angry, I mean. Devil's Way is the, uh... Yeah, Devil's Way is the one that we're doing. Uh, are we going greyer? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sammy! 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 Oh, seven. Checking his head, he's livid. Seven? Yes. I got it. It's not white bills where it's going. Hello. Where's up? Molten Abbey. Oh, we know where it is now. No, I'll claim. <laughs> no idea. No, I don't. I can do Carlton. Really good. I can go there. That's <laughs> good, you have Carlton. Anyone for Carlton? Yeah, we'll have to go there. All right, then. So we're telling Molten Abbey via Carlton, then, just in case we forget where we are. <laughs> and yeah? way back. Oh, oh way back. what's happening? <laughs> TV for five seconds, look at that, keep smiling, great driving. What's that what mean? What did you say, Bolton Abbey? Uh, uh, Carlton. Carlton. No, Bolton Abbey. Behave yourself, <laughs> Bolton Abbey, anybody. I've just had a picture taken, excuse me. get caught speeding in this. What speed limit? Is it more than 40? Oh, well, we can't go more than 40 anyway, can we? Where am I going here? Cold? Left lane, right lane, not quite made your mind. We'll go into left lane. I think we were, but never mind. There's nobody behind us, is there? Right, well, there we go. We're just driving back now to, uh, to town and district. It's been an absolutely fantastic day. We've covered a lot of mileage in this little Dennis Dart. Uh, I have had the Dennis Dart for most of the day. Uh, I've not had it stolen off me and uh, replaced with an Olympian, thank you a lord for that. We've done a couple of round trips to Carlton and, uh, and yeah, now we've dropped um, the last of our passengers off after doing a round trip to Bolton Abbey and, uh, and we're on our way back. Seen a lot of great people, uh, a lot of people I've not seen in a long time, so it's been absolutely lovely to see uh, everybody. 
and uh, I do hope that next time you will join us at one of these fantastic events. As soon as the eclipse is, uh, is all painted up nice, then, uh, then hopefully we'll be bringing that to some events. We've got Dewsbury bus rally coming up, I don't know if it'll be done by then. To be perfectly honest with you, I don't think it will be, but uh, it might be in the new year, possibly, by the time it's all done. It's, uh, yeah, really, really nice, and like I say, quite honoured to, to take my, uh, my late friend to bus to a, uh, a running day that he treasured so dearly, so that, that was lovely. So the thing about this is that because it's a Dennis Dart, it's built obviously more for town running than, uh, than the journeys like this, which are quite lengthy journeys in the countryside. Um, so we're having to sit at about 40 mile an hour because it's got a four speed Allison gearbox, this. So obviously it's, it's happier, more comfortable sat at 40 mile an hour. But, but the only problem is, it means there's a bit more of a queue behind us. When I say a little queue, it's quite a big queue. Loads of them are going to try and come past here, aren't they? So the good thing now is we've got a crawler lane, but actually looking back, not many of them are going to use it. We've got one person there, the Toyota, is that a Yaris? He's going for it, foot down, flying along. But uh, yeah, weirdly enough, oh hang on, there's someone else coming in a minute. Lovely. Like West Country 3, isn't it? Coming up out of Top Ness. Hopefully we won't have a collision at the top of the, uh, the crawler lane, though, unlike on West Country 3. Oh, motorbike coming past, and I think... Oh, hang on, excuse me. <laughs> Road's ended there. It, it does, uh... Got his latums in it, driving straight over white markings. Falling rocks, heck. Do we speed up or slow down? Never know, until one comes crashing through the ceiling. Left hand lane, right hand lane. Left hand lane, there we go, I can just about see it now. Oh, Preston bus, is it? No, but it's not Preston bus, it's something beginning with a P. Pilkington bus, lovely. Oh, he's going to be fuming stuck behind us in his little uh, transit van or whatever he's driving. So you can razz around all you want in your Ford Fiesta ST or Vauxhall Corsa VXR or whatever nonsense it was that's just passed us going the other way. But I can, I can absolutely bet your bottom dollar that I'm having a lot more fun in this Dennis Dart than either of them are having in their chavy cars. Because we look at it, it's brilliant. I'm working on it. Down here? Yeah. Look well if I went down that seven point. Sneak and peek. Oh, this is this road, isn't it? No, it ain't. Sneak and peek. That's like phrase of day, isn't it? Oh, oh. They're fuming. Buses normally cross further up, so she thinks she's missed it. <coughs> oh, I know where we are now. Right, well, thank you so, so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed the video today. I certainly had an absolutely brilliant day. And I'd like to extend a special thank you to all those wonderful volunteers at the Air Valley Transport Group who've organised today and made it such a brilliant event. 
Thank you also to the fantastic people at Town and District Transport Trust for organising us taking these vehicles over to the running day. And uh, yeah, make sure you click the like button if you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe so you never miss out on any future episodes of our Preserved Bus Adventures. And why not join the Discord? There's a link in the description to that so we can talk about all things Preserved Buses. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.